Hi guys and welcome back to And Then There Was Style. Now if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and if you've been here before, then welcome back to the channel. Also don't forget to take a look at some of our older videos that you may be getting a lot of inspiration from. In today's video, let's talk about how to create a relaxing zen room. Now listen, a relaxing zen room is not just for hippies and overgrown flower children, no. I believe this is a room that a lot of us can use in our home. Now whether you have the space to devote a whole room to a relaxing space, or if you just have the square footage maybe to just devote a corner to it, I still feel like it's really important. So personally, I feel the purpose of a Zen space or a Zen home is to have an area in your home that you can just automatically step into to shake off the stress and the worry, the frustrations, the hassle of today. Some of these rooms, if you look at them, as soon as you step into it, it just would feel like a weight would be lifted from your shoulders. We as humans, as moms, as dads, as aunts, uncles, friends, and just people, we carry so much weight on our shoulders, whether it's financially, whether it's dealing with relationships, dealing with children, and of course, dealing with work. Now this can have really poor effects on our personalities, our moods, and probably most important, our health. Having this space in your home that you can come, sit, take a few deep breaths, get the stress out of your body, anything that happened today, just let it float away. And I feel like even though we are supposed to do it anyway, it's a lot harder to do if you are in an area of your home that may have a lot of clutter or you see bills and that automatically reminds you of what needs to be taken care of or you see projects that still are not done this space is just for you it's a place for you to center to get back to the important things in your life and in turn that makes a better stronger happier version of you So let's start at the beginning. You may have a question, what does a Zen room even mean? So a Zen room means more than just decorating with relaxing colors and decluttering your space, although that is important. There are parts of the elements which help create a soothing effect and a relaxed atmosphere. But to truly apply Zen principles and in interior design, you need to incorporate so much more. So you can create your own Zen Den or Zen Room for more than just aesthetics. You can do it to improve your mental health. A Zen Den is a popular concept that is centered on creating a healthy, peaceful, and meditative space within your home. It's all about building stronger mental health to carry you through the chaos of daily life and those tough times that we all face. Who wouldn't want a Zen Den that they can find peace and tranquility in? Now, you don't need much to create your own Zen Den in your home. Just a room or space in your home dedicated to well-being and mental health. You can designate a space. Will your Zen Den be your bedroom or your living room? An extra bedroom, a corner of your home, your back patio? The options are endless. Just choose a space that fits your individual needs. 
Next, you definitely want to choose neutral colors. From the paint on the walls to the lights in your space, go for neutral, soft tones to lift your mood and inspire creativity. Also, don't forget to sprinkle in nature. From fresh plants to flower cuts, water features, sand, crystals, incorporating nature into your space can help you feel grounded and relaxed. Also, don't forget to get rid of clutter. A messy room can often lead to a messy mind. Make sure you clear this space of obvious physical distractions. Keep it clean and organized. So then now you have to do some thinking. Beyond nature, what else calms you? What inspires you? Maybe it's artwork. Is it plants, a specific furniture, textiles, or sound? You can craft your space to fit your needs. Also, take this time to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Once you subscribe, just leave me a comment saying that you have subscribed and I will personally comment back to you. Thanks. So make sure in your Zen room that you have comfortable seating with tons of throw pillows and cushions just kind of strewn about. The whole purpose of this room is being comfortable and sometimes there's nothing better than sitting on a cushion and just wrapping yourself in a nice warm throw and just thinking. Also create some calming sights for you, whether it's a piece of artwork you love or just a nice neutral wall with string lights kind of everywhere that you look. Create something that you don't mind looking at that gives you a sense of inner peace and inner joy. This will go a long way in your Zen room. Now rugs are important in your Zen room as well. No one likes to be uncomfortable. Consider having really comfortable rugs if that makes sense. Think of fur rugs and just that softness on your little feet and your little socks. It sounds funny and it seems really juvenile, but things like that bring out a sense of happiness that it's hard to find other places. Just that sense of being content. Alright guys, so we're coming to one of my favorite parts of the video. It's the portion where I ask you to let me know what your favorite look from this video was. There were so many good ones in this one. If you are a fan of relaxing or zen home decor, it may be kind of hard for you. But I'm so interested in knowing. Let me know what you thought down below. Alright guys, so I've already asked you to comment your favorite room down below. Now if you want to see mine, it is this beauty right here. Talk about relaxing, talk about zen, talk about chill, talk about all those adjectives to describe this room. I just feel like I can go in this room with a good book and not come out for hours. Alright guys, that's our video for today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with other home decor lovers, and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook group at And Then There Was Style. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye!